Well, it's a scorcher out there. We're looking at temperatures that are in the upper 80s and the heat indices in some places into the 90s. Let's take a look at our radar satellite composite. And at this point, we just see some pop up showers that are lingering now down to the south of our viewing area. Otherwise, most have died out, although we did have some earlier up in Monroe and Noble County and down near Jackson County, straying near Elizabeth. Uh, it doesn't look like they're going to be a major factor for the rest of the night. What a great view on the Gentiles Marietta Skycam atop the Lafayette Hotel. 89 degrees right now, 40% relative humidity. The winds are calm and the pressure 29.94 inches and falling. Look at that almost mirror perfect surface on the river. When we take a look at our current temperatures, we have 91 in Athens, 89 for Parkersburg and Columbus, and 81 down in Charleston. They obviously have had some cloud cover and some rainfall there that have depressed the temperature. Uh, we're looking at winds that are calm in the mid Ohio Valley, although elsewhere they're about 7 miles per hour. Uh, the regional heat index still have some 90s at Zanesville, Athens, and Huntington. Uh, we're not quite there in Parkersburg at the moment. We're a good 2 degrees warmer than we were yesterday at this same time. So when we look for any radar echoes, again, it's just a few speckles here uh, in maybe Jackson County, Ohio, uh, crossing over into Point Pleasant and Buffalo. Nothing is serious to write home about. The big picture, though, shows there is a cold front well to the west that is waiting to sweep in tomorrow. In the meantime, generally high pressure over top of us. We're still seeing some of those pop up showers that are expected to die out. As we go through the overnight, it looks like we'll have some ground fog that will have to burn off tomorrow morning. Won't be terribly long lived, but we are watching for the next cold front to come through. As we get to Thursday, it does look like in the evening that may be a factor and then kind of quiet Thursday night once more as we get ready to do it again on Friday. So right now we're about 89, mostly sunny, hot and humid, and maybe not the best conditions to go running for, but those joggers. Well, they'll go whenever they want. When we take a look at the humidity forecast, we'll be up in the humid category for several times in the next several days and a spike coming Sunday evening into Monday. The convective outlook suggests we'll all be in the lowest level of thunderstorms risk tomorrow. So tonight, 66 for the overnight low, mostly clear conditions with some fog as well. Uh, a little bit less than a full moon that'll be up big and bright. 89 for tomorrow again with the heat index on top of that muggy and hot for another day in the row. As you can see, we'll drop to 85 as we head into the weekend and possibly storms as we get into Sunday and spill over into Monday as well. But we'll be back to the mid 80s very shortly.